Down Tough. What's up, Go Ruck? Today is Friday, week one, day four of Sandbag 20. All right, guys, you've had an awesome week so far, and today is meant to be a sort of flush day, okay? That doesn't mean it's not gonna challenge you or get you sweating, but it is not meant to tear you up too much. So today is gonna get you moving, but the workout is short, sweet, and sweaty, all right? So all you need for this workout is gonna be a sandbag and a kettlebell. So you need both pieces of equipment today, all right? And we're gonna start your workout with a good warm up, all right? Two rounds to the warm up, like we always do. We're gonna start with jumping jacks for 50, all right? Good old school jumping jacks. Get those arms all the way up, hands close to each other, hop out nice and wide, all right? 50 reps, then we're gonna go into our dyno kicks for three per side. We're gonna kick that leg up, same leg that kicks up, kicks back behind us, getting a good hamstring and hip opening stretch, all right? Three per side. Then we're gonna go into T push-ups for five per side. Drop into that nice traditional push-up, reach that arm all the way to the sky, following your fingertips with your eyes, opening shoulders and core. All right, guys, two rounds to this warm up, and then we're diving into a 20 minute AMRAP. So we have a series of exercises that we're gonna knock out for 20 minutes, all right? But here's the catch. We're gonna interrupt you every five minutes and make you do a wall sit, all right? So um, we're gonna go through all your movements, and then I'm gonna break down kind of what we're gonna do to kind of make this a little bit more challenging. So you're gonna start your timer. You're gonna run 200 meters, okay? So it's half of a track or 200 yards. Just walk it out to find 200 meters, all right? So you're gonna run 200 meters. Then you're gonna come back and hit sandbag plank drag tucks. So you guys are gonna be in a nice, strong, high plank position. You're reaching through, dragging that sandbag all the way across, replanting and giving us a nice tuck on the same leg that the sandbag is on, okay? So we're gonna hit five per side on those sandbag plank drag tucks, all right? Then we're gonna grab that kettlebell. Um, this kettlebell can be on the lighter side. So females can be using a 15 or 20, and males can be using a 25 to a 35, okay? Kettlebell pullover alternating V up. This is really meant to challenge the core muscles underneath the rib cage. You guys are reaching that kettlebell overhead, lifting one leg up, keeping it straight, and alternating legs. So we're getting that lower back off the floor and really getting our core working, all right? Then we're up, we're holding that kettlebell at our chest as if we're doing a goblet grip, and we're gonna crush 50 total butt kickers, all right? 25 per side, all right? So we're gonna really get the hamstrings lit up there, all right? And then Superman. So we ditch the kettlebell, we hit 10 Supermans to kind of get that back working, and then we're taking back off on our run. You're gonna work through this circuit as many times as you can in 20 minutes, but here's that catch. We're, we are gonna interrupt you every five minutes on increments of five and make you hit a sandbag wall sit. So that sandbag is gonna go right on your lap. You're gonna find a wall and you're gonna sit. Your first set, so at the five minute mark, you're crushing a 30 second wall sit, all right? On the 10 minute mark, you guys are crushing a 60 second wall sit. 15 minute mark, 90 second wall sit. And after your 20 minute ram, AMRAP has finished up, you're ending your workout with a two minute wall sit with that sandbag, okay? All right guys, but and here's the, here's the thing we want you to remember, we want you to pause that timer to do your wall sit, okay? We want you to pause that timer, all right? So that you still get 20 full minutes in this circuit, okay? There's also one more catch guys. If you break at any point in your wall sit, there's a two burpee penalty, all right? So if I'm sitting there in my 90 second wall sit, my legs are shaking and I just slide up that wall, that is considered a break. Drop the sandbag, hit, you, hit your two burpees, grab it, get right back on that wall. Make it efficient, make it strong, okay? And, um, and that's your penalty if you break at all during any time in that wall sit, okay? So that's your workout, guys. 20 minute AMRAP, we're interrupting you every five minutes to hit the wall, make sure you pause your timer, and then we hit our cool down, okay? Cool down is a golf stretch for one minute, all right? Make it sure you just kind of warm up, or I'm sorry, cool down that back, mobilize that lumbar spine, and then our V-sit hamstring hold. Okay, 30 seconds per side on that. Perform your cool down as many rounds as you feel like your body needs to get your body ready for tomorrow's awesome pack workout, okay? So that is week one, day four, Friday of our Sandbag 20. Good luck, go Ruck, and good luck, Mountain Tough.